No matter how cynical you get, it's hard to keep up Lily Tomlin. That is the expression I have in my Twitter bio, and it's proving to be more and more true with each passing day. For those of you who didn't sit through the arduous torture of listening to the State of the Union address last night, I did. I live streamed it. We had something like 20,000 people watching live. It was torturous. It was ridiculous. It's an absolute joke. Biden is a laughing stock of the international community, whether he knows it or not. The most disgusting thing is, however, going to Twitter today and seeing these sycophants out there saying, all those people who call Joe Biden senile and demented, they sure are awful quiet now. No, we're not. No, they're not. No, nobody is. Anybody who watched that and said, you saw a well-tempered man with a good memory who wasn't slurring his speech, who wasn't jumping into fits of rage, yelling at people. Anybody who looked at that and said, there is a well-rounded, totally normal man who's fit for another four years of presidency. Anybody who thinks that is a buffoon and nobody thinks that. The only people saying that are the sycophant hacks and the people of the blue check marks in the media. It was an abject disaster, save for the fact that he actually made it through and even spent a half an hour trying to leave the room, talking to people, going off script. Oh my goodness. By the way, did you notice you fly over in the helicopter? Those places with good roofs, they didn't burn. It's the right material. Yeah. yeah. So we gotta change that. Anyway. We gotta cut some trees. Well, anyway, anyway. That one doesn't count as after the speech. It's just like Scranton. Biden was sure to touch on everything and say nothing about anything. We had Russia, Ukraine, Gaza, aid, border, transgender. I mean, he literally made sure to mention every buzzword throughout his speech and say absolutely nothing of substance about anything except to blame the border crisis on the Republicans. You imagine that there have been, I don't know, how many? 10 plus million illegal immigrants crossing the border since Biden became president and he wants to blame it on the Republicans for not having agreed to that ridiculous border bill which actually granted no new required powers to the president, except it did grant new powers to the president, ones that he ought never have had in the first place, such as, I don't know, DC having exclusive jurisdiction, a border bill that basically guaranteed that up to 5,000 illegal immigrants can cross the border a day. I don't know if you can do math real good, but that adds up real quickly. If you multiply 5,000 by 365, the border bill did not grant any missing powers to the president to secure the border and resolve that crisis. But my goodness, the border bill did grant new powers to the president and powers to the corrupt DC courts of the District of Columbia. But that wasn't even the worst part of the State of the Union address. You know, the barking seals in the crowd getting up, standing ovations every three seconds, Kamala Harris bouncing up and down behind Joe Biden, insert your jokes there. The worst part of the State of the Union address was when Marjorie Taylor Greene, what some Democrat hacks might refer to as heckling Joe Biden, what other people might refer to as activism, Marjorie Taylor Greene in the middle of the speech screamed out, say her name, referring to Lakin Riley, the 22-year-old Georgia nursing student who was murdered by an illegal immigrant that crossed the border illegally. Marjorie Taylor Greene shouted, say her name. And then Joe Biden, after getting flustered, did this. I'm gonna play the video so that nobody accuses me of misstating or mischaracterizing what Biden did. Political win, he viewed it as a, would be a political win for me and a political loser for him. Well, hold on. It's not about him, it's not about me. I'd be a winner not really. I... Say it. Lincoln, Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed. Lincoln by Riley? An illegal. That's right. But how many of thousands of people being killed by illegals? To her parents, I say, my heart goes out to you having lost children myself. I understand. But, but how look, many people have been we killed by the legals? dynamic at the border? After slurring his speech and after flubbing some words, he then proceeds to say the wrong name. Lincoln Riley. He says Lincoln Riley, not Lakin Riley, notwithstanding the fact that he literally has her name written on the button that Marjorie Taylor Greene gave him earlier that night. Not only can the guy not even say her name properly, he can't even read it in real time. It's an absolute disgrace. He says the wrong name and then goes on to say, yeah, well, she was killed by an illegal immigrant, but how many thousands of people are killed by legals? But how many of thousands of people being killed by legal. 
and then goes on to talk about his own personal tragedy of having lost his son. Everything is about the narcissist. It was insulting beyond words. It was disgraceful beyond words. It added insult to injury beyond words. And then what do you have this morning? You have the Associated Press running an article that Marjorie Taylor Greene screamed out from the crowd, say her name. And then Joe Biden did just that. He said her name. And in quotes, Lake and Riley, end quote. I see this tweet and I immediately go after the Associated Press because they are shameless, disgusting, Stasi propagandists. I say, he didn't say her name. He said, Lincoln Riley, you are misquoting him and you are outright fabricating something that did not happen. He didn't say her name, you government stenographers. He actually got her name wrong and said, quote, Lincoln Riley, end quote. Why do you lie at Associated Press? You should be fact-checked by Associated Press fact check, irony, and community noted by community notes. And if you think that's bad, it gets even worse because I went back to the tweet a little later and I noticed it said this post is unavailable. The Associated Press deleted their tweet. I don't know if they deleted their tweet because it did in fact get community noted and they didn't want to have a community note on the fake propaganda disinformation that they knowingly and willingly put out. They deleted the tweet, but it gets even worse because I went back to look at the original article and noticed that it had been updated. And I go read the updated version and this is what the updated version says. Midway through the speech, Biden started talking about border security and called on Congress to pass legislation to secure the border and modernize the country's outdated immigration laws, praising the bipartisan effort that collapsed when his likely Republican presidential rival, Donald Trump, opposed it. Green interjected, quote, say her name, exclamation point, end quote. The congresswoman from Georgia yelled, pointing a finger and jabbing it toward Biden. And then Biden did just that. He held up the white button and said, quote, Lakin Riley, end quote. Liar. Lincoln Riley. And the updated article goes on to then say, but he mispronounced her first name, so it sounded more like, quote, Lincoln to some. Lincoln Riley. And the GOP critics instantly pounced. It's Lincoln Riley, Mr. President, said the Conservative Heritage Foundation on social media. The updated article from the Associated Press added a paragraph of pure fiction, but he mispronounced her name, so to some it sounded like Lincoln Riley. No, you lying bastards. He said Lincoln Riley. He did not mispronounce anything. He got the name wrong. And if you go back to the original article, which I was able to find on the way back machine, that paragraph is simply missing. Green interjected, quote, say her name, exclamation point, end quote. The congresswoman from Georgia yelled, pointing a finger and jabbing it toward Biden. And then Biden did just that. He held up the white button and said, quote, Lakin Riley, end quote. Biden spoke briefly of her death and he made a reference to his own family's trauma, dot, dot, dot. I know I have been angry lately because it's impossible to look at such treachery and not get angry. I woke up in the middle of the night last night thinking this is just absolutely outrageous. We have what everyone knows to be a demented, senile old man up on stage and he gets standing ovations and then gets praised the next day by his sycophants only because he managed to give a speech and say words for an hour and a quarter. The media glosses over his flubs, the media glosses over the bouts of rage, the mood swings on stage, but then the media absolutely goes out of its way to create a work of pure fiction. Say that he said something that he didn't, and when they get called out on it, delete the evidence, go update the article to add pure fiction, lie, propaganda, and it's just, it's so insulting to the actual victims of this. Can you imagine being Lake and Riley's family and having to look at this? A press going out of its way not to hold the government's feet to the fire, not to speak truth to power, not to question, not to hold them to account, but to go out of the way to protect them, to make a senile old buffoon look like something other than a senile old buffoon by saying that he said things that he never said and then passing off his obvious blunder as a mispronunciation. My good, scum of the earth, enemy of the people. There is no other way to describe what the AP did here. The AP is the scum of the earth for having lied, then having deleted their lie, then having gone and edited back so they can fabricate fiction to somehow make their lie less of a lie. Scum of the earth, enemy of the people. And it gets even worse, actually, when I said that's as bad as it gets. No, it gets even worse for anybody who watched the State of the Union address, because at one point in time, there was a man from the crowd screaming words that were somewhat inaudible at the time, and I had to take to Twitter to see what he said. It turns out he was saying 13 Marines. He was the military father of a soldier who died in Joe Biden's debacle of a withdrawal from Afghanistan, was screaming for maybe 30 seconds, interrupted his highness, the emperor who had no clothes, and was escorted out, arrested. And I said, if they arrest him and don't release him without pressing charges, that's fine. You know, they have to remove him from the crowd. They have to remove him from the SODU, the State of the Union. I will wait to see if they arrest him and release him without charges before reacting to this and thinking that, you know, POTUS and 
other people have a shred of dignity and a shred of human compassion. They did not release this man without pressing charges. They, in fact, charged him with one count, misdemeanor count of, I don't know what the charge was, I'll read a headline from some article. They actually charged a grieving military father who's shouting at POTUS because his kid died because of POTUS's incompetent withdrawal from Afghanistan, above and beyond everything else that happened last night. From News Nation, the father of a Marine who died in the Kabul International Airport bombing during the 2021 U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan faces charges after interrupting President Joe Biden's State of the Union address Thursday night. Steve Nikui, 51, father of Marine Lance Corporal Kareem M. Nikui, who was just 20 years old when he was killed, was arrested Thursday after shouting, quote, Abby Gate, end quote, and United States Marines, end quote, during Biden's speech. The United States Capitol Police charged Steve Nikui with a misdemeanor that carries a maximum fine of $500 and up to 90 days in prison. POTUS actually also did that. I want to make the joke that POTUS is really putting the POS back in POTUS, but that would be crass and mean. That's it, people. That's it. Deep breaths. Serenity now. Let me just go read it. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. I'm doing my best right now to change the things that I think I can, and I have trouble understanding the difference, and it leads to a little bit of stress because... There's no other way to respond to this rubbish. I have my words, I have my thoughts, and I have my bullhorn, and I plan on using all three of them, and if you like what I do, you know what to do, but outrageous. Associated Press, shame on you. I say shame on you, but you have no shame because there could be no shame where there is no pride, and the AP, you have no pride. Shame on you.